Hello everybody. Um, I hope you're all well. All us and all of the teachers have been really thinking all lots about you and we really hope that you're staying safe at home, keeping yourself busy because I know that that can be one of the hardest things at the moment, just trying to find lots of things to do. So us and the teachers have been trying to think of lots of fun things that you can be getting on with at home um, and obviously each week we're putting our resources and our overview online um, for you to have a look at on our website. And you may have noticed that on Tapestry as well, we're putting several different other challenges for you to do, which we hope you're enjoying. We're trying to find as many fun things that are educational, but also that you can have a lot of fun with as well. So we're just going to have a look at this week's um, learning overview and just talk about some of the learning activities on there. So um, our topic this for the last few weeks has been all about rock balls. So all of our activities this week have been based around that as well. So for our writing activity this week, we'd like you to be thinking about a time when you went to the beach, which may have been quite a long time ago now. So we would I ask you to try and find a photo if you have one of you at the beach. But obviously, if you don't have a photo, you can just have a think about it. So you need to have a little think about what you did at the beach and what you found. So did you have a picnic there? Did you go and look in the rock pools at the beach? Or did you maybe use a fishing net to uh, find some little fish there as well? And then the other activity we'd like you to do is design your own sandcastle. So we'd like to think about you to think about what different things you would like on your sandcastle, whether you would have turrets and the um, shells for windows or a maybe you'd make a moat around the outside there's also um, in the resource folder there's um, an activity to help you with this as well so for understanding of the world um, we'd like you to think about the sandcastle again so we'd also like you to think on from there from making your sandcastle we want you to really think about those words that you can use when you're thinking about touching the sand how can you move the sand what um tools have you got that you could be using with that sand now i know not all of you may have sand at home so there is a link on there as well to help you make your own sand which actually is really fun so physical education obviously keeping our exercise going is really important. I know I'm trying to go for a run every day, which is really tricky for me because I've never run before, but it's really good to have a good at that sort go at that sort of thing. So as you probably know already, Joe Wicks has his um, daily workout sessions at nine o'clock every day, which are really fun. I've done a couple of those and I know Mrs. Joseph Russell is really enjoying that. But also we wondered that if you had been watching those, you could also have a go at maybe recording your own workout video, which we would love to see and maybe we can have a go at it. So maybe if you could put those on tapestry, that would be great. So it's really important for children of your age to make sure that your fingers are really strong, ready for writing, because when as we get older we'll be writing for longer and it's really good to, to make sure that our muscles are really strong to do that so on the, in the fine motor activities here there's a couple of links um, for you to click on that are some really fun videos um, including one with play-doh that you can use to strengthen your activity to strengthen your hand so for reading we'd like you to have a go at making your own alphabet museum. So we'd like to think of you to think about um, things that you can find in your house to put in that museum, but then make some cardboard boxes um, with each of the letters on and think about what um, sound your item begins with and then what part of your showcase it needs to begin with. So if you found um, a book, for example, it would obviously go in the section okay um, so there's some pictures also in the resource folder that will make it a bit clearer so for maths this week we would like to you to practice um, your number bonds to 10 so number bonds to 10 is all of the different ways that you can make 10 with two numbers for example 2 add 8 7 add 3 5 add 5 so we'd like you to be thinking about all of the different ways that you can do that 
um, just before school closed, that was something that we were really focusing on. So the children will be quite aware of what that is. But for some of you, it may be something that you've already cracked already and you may be brilliant at it. So then we would like you to start doing that to 20. So also we'd like you to think about weight. So weight is something else in our curriculum that we think about in terms of ordering. So if I might pick up two objects and I might think, oh, which one is heavier out of the two? So what we'd like you to do is find 10 different items in your house, hold, an ob hold the objects in each hand, decide which one's heavier, and then to start build up an order of the 10 objects to see which one is the very heaviest, ordering it all the way down to the very lightest. So for expressive arts and design, we thought that it'd be a nice idea to have you've got some paper and cards at home, you could cut out the shape of a starfish and using paint or any different craft activity or items that you've got in your house, you can stick on your starfish, but you might have bubble wrap or leaves or sponge, it doesn't necessarily have to be anything specific to craft, you could have anything laying about in your house that you could stick on there. And then maybe you could stick them up in your window. I know when I've been out and about, I've seen some absolutely lovely things that people have been put up, putting up in their windows, such as the lovely rainbows and things. So we could always start something different to be putting up because I know that as people are walking past, they're being really cheered up with those things that they can see. So when you go out for your walk as well, if you have a look out for lots of different things that you can make a picture out of, so you can look for sticks and leaves, maybe some flowers, grass, and then you don't even need to stick them down. You could just use the, the um, all the objects you've found to make a picture, okay? So you might be able to think of some of the animals that you would find in a rock pool that you can make a picture of, or you can make a picture of the beach, anything you like, really. So the last section is communication. So that is something in reception that is so important that we work on all the time, is improving the children's speech and language. So this is why this part is really important for us to do as well. So I'm sure that at the moment your toys are everywhere. So have a go, have a spend a day tidying up your room, make sure everything's back in the correct place, but then really think about where you've put all of those things. Not only will it remind you for, for next time, but also you're explaining to that person where you've put everything. So I put my cuddly toys on the shelf, my bricks are in the box, okay? So you're really thinking about where you've put it, you put it and being able to explain that. And the other thing, just simply look out your window and talk to somebody from your house about everything you can see. I mean, from my window, I can see cars going past, I can see police cars going past, the occasional ambulance. There's lots going on around our houses. So it's nice just as an activity to be able to talk about all of those things that you can see. Also trying to use adjectives and describing words as well to just make your speech that bit more interesting. Just to remind you that we absolutely love seeing all of your learning at home. Um, it's something that's been really cheering me and the teachers up in the time that we can't see you. Um, and we would love you to continue doing that and put as much up as possible. It is a way for us to communicate as well. If you want to put in your post that if you're particularly struggling with something, please ask for help. We will get back to you um, as soon as we can um, and offer any support that we can. Um, and if you haven't yet, um, activated your account and you're struggling with that just contact us through the admin account um, and I can just activate your account for you um, so you can start uploading things and you can access our um, challenges that we've been uploading as well. So we're just going to finish off with a story. So this story is called Sharing a Shell by Julia Donaldson. So you may be familiar with Julia Donaldson because she is the author of The Gruffalo and she has written some absolutely fabulous books. But this one I think is particularly lovely because it fits in with our topic and also it's a really important message at the moment about sharing and being kind to one another. Look, a crab, a crab with no shell, running up by the sea. Tap, tap, tap. You can't come in. You can't share a shell with me. Or me. Or me. Or me. Look, a gull with a wide open beak. Run for your life, crab. Hide. 
At last in a pool, an empty shell. Quick, cr quick crab scuttle inside. One crab safe in his shell, under the summer sun, roaming all over the rock pool in his wonderful home for one. Look, a blob, a bright purple blob. Look, what can this blob thing be? Go away, blob, whatever you are. You can't share a shell with me. I'm an anemone, not a blob. Please let me share your shell. Give me a ride and look for some food and perhaps I can help you as well. Look, a fish with wide open jaws, fresh crab for dinner. Here goes. Out shoots a tentacle and quick as a flash, stinging the fish on the nose. Two friends sharing a shell under a sky of blue, romping all over the rock pool in their wonderful home for two. Look, a brush thing, trying to get in, wiggling and making a fuss. Go away brush, whoever you are, you can't share a shell with us. I'm not a brush, I'm a bristle worm, now let me in, please don't be mean. I love doing housework, I'll suck up all the scraps and keep the shell lovely and clean. Three friends sharing a shell down by the sparkling sea, rollicking around the rock pool in their wonderful home for three. But look how you've grown, the shell is too small. You're getting too heavy, said Scrab. I'm fed up with being your taxi. It's time that you found a new cab. Really, says Blob. How ungrateful. Here I am, slaving away, scaring off all the fierce fishes, and that's how you feel. I won't stay. Peace, cries Brush, but nobody hears. The other creatures split up. Blob finds an empty ice cream tub, and Crab finds a pa paper cup. Crab in the cup, blob in the tub, each one pretends to be glad. Brush doing both ha lots of houseworks, knowing that they're really lonely and sad. Look, a storm, a terrible storm, crashing and flashing all night. Two homes smashed on the rocks, oh what a terrible sight. But look, a shell, a beautiful shell. Crab and an enemy stare, too shy to speak to each other, too proud to say, shall we share? Listen, a voice, an out pokes a head from the whelk share washed up by the foam. It's ready, I've done all the housework, climb on and come in, welcome home. Three friends sharing a shell, happy as housemates can be, rocketing all around the rock pool in their wonderful home for three. So I think we can tell from that book that sometimes it takes something not very nice maybe to sometimes realise what we have and actually the most important things in life are each other. And I'm sure that you're all feeling that at the moment, that you're finding, enjoying spending time together and how important your friends and family are. So we're going to leave it there for this week and we'll be in touch very soon. And in the meantime, just all keep safe. Hopefully you'll enjoy this week's learning and we look forward to seeing some of it in Tapestry.